hello friends in this presentation we'll solve a question related to recursion this question was asked in gate 2016 okay we have a function called with n as an argument of integer type and we have a static variable int d equal to 1 as you already know what is static variable so even if the function is called again and again it will not create a new variable d it will use the same space okay so now let's start with the main method we are calling the function count of 3 now control goes to the count function now n will be initialized with the value 3 I will maintain separate spaces for n and d n will be initial initialized with value 3 now int d equal to 1 okay d equal to 1 now if I try to print the value of uh, n and d what what will happen okay I will try to print the value of n and d <coughs> so n will be 3 and d would be 1 obviously all the options will contain 3 and 1 starting with 3 and 1 now I'm incrementing that d value d plus plus so d would be updated to 2 if n greater than 1 n is 3 right now okay 3 greater than 1 yes 3 greater than 1 is true so again this is a function call that is I'm calling the same function again so it's a recursive call so count of n minus 1 so nothing but count of 3 minus 1 that is 2 now n value would be 2 right now n value would be 2 because n is a parameter here so 2 n will be initialized with 2 no, right now so d equal to 1 so shall I change d equal to 1 again no I will not change d equal to 1 because it's a static variable it will use from the same space that is d it will remain to itself it will remain 2 only that is what the purpose of static variable okay now again I'm trying to print n and I'm trying to print d but if you remember because of this recursive call I was not able to execute this statement okay because of this recursive call I was not able to execute this printf statement that is I was not able to print a value d d value was unable to print okay I will just uh, write 2 here but it will not be printed right now but I will just write 2 here now okay now n will be 2 and d equal to, uh, n will be 2 and d will continue from to itself so again here now I'm printing n value and d value so what is the value of n it will be 2 and the value of d it will be 2 again and the value of uh, it will be 2 again so that will be printed and I'm incrementing the d value so if I increment the d value it will be 3 now is 2 greater than 1 yes 2 greater than 1 okay now count of 2 minus 1 n value is 2 right now so count of 2 minus 1 is nothing but count of 1 okay now the control should go to the function definition again so because of this recursive call this iteration would be would not be executed but if this is executed then d value should be 3 but this will not be printed because of the recursive call okay now the control goes to function definition int n now n is 1 and because of static variable d will be 3 only it's not 1 and if you print n value and d value you will get as 2 and 3 n is 2 and d is 3 and I'm incrementing the d value so d will change to 4 is 1 greater than n is 1 right now 1 greater than 1 no it is false so uh, only this line number 10 is considered as a part of if block line number 10 is considered as a part of a block because they have not given parenthesis if parenthesis is given then you can consider both the statements so if, if parenthesis is not mentioned then only first line will be considered as a part of if block okay so as it is written false now if if body will not be executed now uh, control will return to the line number of the previous call so in this definition if block is not executed so this will be printed right now so what is the d value right now 4 is a d value right now okay now as if is not executed 4 will be printed on the output screen okay but what about this uh, 2 and 3 what about this 2 and 3 see because of the recursive call they were not able to be executed but once that recursive call has been released so it will backtrack to count of 3 it will backtrack to count of 2 and then it get printed so in what direction the function recall function has been e executed the same way it will backtrack from 4 it will backtrack from 3 and 2 
that means the statement has been holded now the statement will be printed for the for these calls 2 and 3 so first it will print 3 for then it will print 2 okay so it should print 3 and 2 but but we have only one space for d we have see if it is separate space we will have different values for d but unfortunately as it is a static variable there is only one space for d so d will be 4 only so when uh, after becoming d this statement has been executed this statement will be executed because of the recursive call so if you uh, uh, now if you want to print this statement the output will not be 3 2 output will be 4 and 4 only okay because it is a static variable so the sequence would be 3 1 triple 2 3 triple 4 so the thumb rule here is that you should know about the static variable it will not be reinitialized in the next function call and will be recharged from the existing value itself and next one is whatever the statements that you place after the function call would be backtracked when the recursive calls are ended and because of the static variable the value is 4 it's not 2 3 okay so the answer for this question is option a okay friends this is it for now and thank you for watching this presentation see you in the next session bye bye